Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV with another Photoshop quick tip. If you're using CS6 or later, I'm going to show you how to automatically stitch or combine images together that have very different brightness, contrast, color, and tone. The Auto Blend feature blends them together automatically. Auto Blend doesn't work with smart objects, video layers, 3D layers, or background layers. For this example, I'm going to stitch the face of this guy onto her face and use Auto Blend to blend them together. I downloaded both of these photos from Shutterstock. This tutorial is for those who are already familiar with the basic functions of Photoshop. As I mentioned, I'll use this photo as the base. Since the outside corners of her eyebrows extend pretty far, I'll remove them. But first, I'll make a copy of the layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J so I always have the original photo intact. If you have areas in your base image that you want to remove, open your patch tool and draw around the area you want to remove. Drag the selected source area to a destination area that you want to use to repair it. To deselect it, press Ctrl or Command D. I'll repeat this with the other eyebrow. Open your other image. We'll make a selection around the area that you want to patch onto your base image. Open the lasso tool and make sure feather is zero pixels. Draw around the area that you want to place onto your base image. Open your move tool by pressing V on your keyboard and drag it onto the tab of your base image. Drag it down and release. To resize and reposition it, Open your Transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command T. Position and resize it over the base image. Ctrl click or Command click the top layer to make a selection of its shape. Go to Select, Modify, and Contract. I'll contract it 10 pixels. Depending on your document size and resolution, you may want to adjust the amount. Make layer 1 active and press the delete key to delete inside the contracted selection. Press Ctrl or Command D to deselect it. Shift click the top layer to make it active as well and go to edit and auto blend layers. Since we're blending stacked layers, tick Stack Images. Make sure Seamless Tones and Colors is checked. And if you're using a later version of Photoshop, check Content Aware Fill Transparent Areas just to ensure that all the areas will be filled and blended well. If you see this warning, just click OK. Auto Blend applied layer masks as needed to each layer to mask out over or underexposed areas as well as mask out content differences to create a relatively seamless composite. Since we have the composite layer, we can hide the layers with their layer masks. Next, we'll adjust our image's brightness and contrast. Scroll to the top of the Layers panel and click the Adjustment Layer icon. Click Levels. We want the adjustment layer to restrict itself to affect just the composite layer below it. To do this, click the Clipping Mask icon or press Alt-Ctrl-G on Windows or Option-Command-G on a Mac. You can also go to Layer and Create Clipping Mask. For this particular image, I'll drag the Input Midtone slider to the right to darken the midtones. However, feel free to adjust the input settings for your image. If you want to restore the background or any other area from your original base image, no problem. Since the Levels layer mask is active by default, we'll brush in black over it, which will mask out areas we brightened or darkened. Open your Brush tool and make sure your foreground color is black. Open your Brush Picker and pick a soft, round brush. We'll adjust its size in a moment. Make its hardness 0% and the opacity and flow both 100%. To make your brush bigger or smaller, 
Make sure your caps lock key is off and press the right or left bracket key on your keyboard. Now, brush over the background and any other areas you'd like to restore from the original base photo. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.